The Academy Awards are months away, but preseason action, it's already here. Fresh from his trip to the Toronto Film Festival, our critic has the goods on what to expect at the box office. And this festival is really what launches the whole season, correct? Yeah, this is sort of the first stage. I mean, with Venice, Telluride, and Toronto, sort of the, the big three to sort of kick off award season once we get out of the summer blockbuster season. And there are a lot of films that really sort of picked up a little bit of steam. Uh, Reese Witherspoon in Wild is probably the front runner right now for Best Actress. Although uh, there's a movie called Still Alice that Julianne Moore is in. A lot of people are sort of touting that as a contender. Uh, the Imitation Game that the Weinsteins are putting out about uh, Alan Turing, the mathematician who solved the Enigma machine back in World War II, is really being touted as uh, a big favorite in a lot of categories. We'll see how that plays out. Now there were also some deals that were signed for some indie films, mm -hmm. so that was good news, starting with a Chris Rock film. Yeah, this was uh, the real big story uh, coming late out of the Toronto Film Festival that uh, Paramount Pictures snatched up Chris Rock's uh, latest directorial effort, Top 5, for $12.5 million. And uh, it got a lot of praise at the festival. I ended up seeing it because of this deal, just because I wanted to see how it was. I didn't think much of it. I got a lot of problems with it. But that doesn't mean that it was not a smart deal because I think that it's a film that has a lot of potential upside. Also on the list, while we were young, big game, the forger, and the reach. Yeah, and while we're young, uh, Ben Stiller film uh, with, uh, directed by Noah Baumbach, I think is a film that's probably released in the spring, probably by A24. Uh, and I think there's, you know, this would be a, this kind of a modest success uh, if they can get that film out into the public. Let's fast forward and take a look at what's happening this weekend <laughs> because you just saw the Liam Neeson film, but tapping that list this week, The Maze Runner, This Is Where I Leave You, and A Walk Among the Tombstones. Yeah, The Maze Runner is the film is probably going to win the box office this weekend. It's the latest young adult adaptation. Fox is having one heck of a run, and they're probably going to continue that with this film. Uh, this Is Where I Leave You, kind of a, an ensemble comedy drama that you know might do okay. I but think I might like <clears> it. I think, you, I think you might. It's getting kind of, it's kind of mixed reviews. I've seen a lot of independent films just like this this year, so I'm a little worn out on them. Gotcha. But A Walk Among the Tombstones uh, is a really solid detective thriller with Liam Neeson. It's another he's kidnapping so film. Right now. He's terrific. And a, a kidnapping film, so it's not it's not of the Taken variety where he's just going out to kill the bad guys. Mm -hmm. This is more moody. It's detective. It's more film noir-ish. Uh, it's a really terrific film that people should check out in theaters right Sounds now. Sounds enjoyable. At the box office last week, and a bit of a surprise here, No Good Deeds coming in at number one. They loved it. Mm. Dolphin Tail at number two, Guardians of the Galaxy still in there. Over the 300, 300 million. million. Yep. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Let's Be Cops. Yeah, No Good Deeds, really interesting uh, story because Screen Gems actually canceled screenings from critics last week. At late, you know, we had all this controversy with the NFL, and this is a film about a guy terrorizing women. So I think the, the twist that they said they, uh, was in the film, I think of the twist was that the guy just didn't belong to the NFL. Thanks for coming on the show, Eric. Thank you.